Morning, boys. Oh, that was quite nice of you, Al. I normally get absolutely slaughtered every not time me. I come on. Not <laughs> me. No, 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 no. Not me. Uh, by the way, uh, God, what a game that was in Paris, Jamie, the other night. Fantastic, wasn't it? Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, great game. I mean, uh, obviously they got done with the, the VAR decision at the end and they've come out and said that was a massive mistake. But, yeah, I felt for Newcastle and they, they, they was out on their feet. But brilliant game. Was you out there, Al? Did you go no, to Paris? No, 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 no. I watched it at home. Ali was, was there, wasn't he? Ali was brilliant. there. Yeah, McCoy was there. Uh, Jamie, oh, yeah, uh, Ray, Ray is crowing. to get about, didn't he? Roy, uh, Ray is crowing at the moment. The, you know, top of the group Champions no, League, top word. of the Premier League. And Tottenham are struggling at the moment. Big injury problems again. And this is that's a, the last place you want to go is up to City. Yeah, I mean, look, obviously, it's probably the worst game for us right now, you know, off the back of three defeats. Uh, I thought we played really well against Aston Villa. I, I really enjoyed watching us play, but we're just a little bit naive at the back still. And, you know, with the injuries that you've got, when you've got Van der Ven there, who's got pace, you can play this high line and you can get away with it because he's so quick. Romero as well, who gets you out of trouble because he is a brilliant defender. He let himself down. And, you know, we're stuck with, obviously, with Emerson Royale, Ben Davies. Look, it's makeshift. And there were opportunities in the game against Aston Villa where we could have won. We should have won the game. You know, mm. we, we had so many chances to win that game. And, but we're going to concede goals. I worry for us a little bit going to Manchester City. But we are a bit of a bogey team for them. You just don't know what's going to... We don't know what you're going to get from Tottenham. But I tell you what, Al. You know, I'm, I'm, I really love... I'm, I'm loving watching Spurs right now. Yeah, it's not nice. We're getting beat. And all of a sudden, I'll become the meme of, you know, everywhere... You know, Jamie said we're going to do this. Jamie said we're going to do that. I did say if we got injuries, and we have got injuries. So, you know, it's a little bit tough now. We've just got to try and hang in there until we get the players back. But What about January? Will Ange have any funds, you think? He has to, surely. I mean, you have to back this manager. You know, you're talking about managers who've had a process with like Arteta, Ten Hag. You know, all these managers who have done well and, and, and now all of a sudden you look at the teams and they've got good squads. You know, Postacoglu's only had the first, one transfer window. You know, this is the second one he's going to have in January. The squad ain't good enough. We know that. The players, if they get injured, the squad ain't good enough. So, yeah, he has to be back. He has to give him money. And, you know, we see what happens. And look, I'm excited for Tottenham, mate. I really am. I, when, I, I don't think we're going to fall away as bad as people are now thinking that we're going to end up like, no, we ain't Chelsea. You know, Chelsea can win 10-0 at the weekend and still be 10. You know, like, it's not that bad. We are still in the mix. You know, we're fighting for top four. And, you know, let's let's see what we can do. But, I, look, in Man City, mate, come on, no, at home. I mean, Liverpool got a point there. It's the only team that's got a point there in the whole of 2023. Mm. December. Mm. Well, to be fair, though, Jamie, Angie's been really good on the front foot. I don't think you can do that at City. Will he change his tactics? Will he say, look, we no. haven't got the personnel. We just have to sit back and try and soak up the pressure and maybe get a chance break. with Son or whatever you're going to get. But I don't think you can go out like you've been doing and attack, 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 because you know City, with the players they've got, they just pick you off and before you know it, you're 3-0 down. Right, he ain't going to change, mate. I'm telling you now, he ain't going to change. There's no way we're going to all of a sudden just sit in and camp in and then try and hit teams on the break. Like, that's not his style and he's been pretty adamant about it. Mm. And... Do I think that's right? I'm not sure. You know, look, this ain't Scotland. You know, he's not playing against St Mirren and, you know, some bad teams where you can go up there, you can roll them over with 10 men and just play gung-ho football. Like, this is the Premier League and you do have to be a little bit more cute with how you set your teams up and, you know, a little bit more adaptable. But that he, he has come out and has been pretty adamant and said, we're playing this way. That's the way I want to make the team play. And, you know, look, we've had chances against Chelsea we lost. We had chances against Aston Villa. We ended up losing. But they have created chances. If mm. we take them chances, you win them games. Mm. So it is, look, it's fine margins at the moment, but the Premier League's fine margins. All the teams' fine margins. I'd rather us go and get beat at Man City 3-1, but we've played some exciting football. We've had some big chances and, you know, someone ain't had their shooting boots on. Or we just sit in and try and nick a point. Yeah. That's boring. We've, we've done that in the past. <laughs> so, Jamie, what about the Villa? What a season they're having. They go to Bournemouth. You see another three points for Aston Villa? Yeah, Bournemouth are flying, mate. I mean, I watched them last night. They're absolutely on fire. Uh, sorry, Aston Villa. Yeah. yeah, Villa. Sorry, lads. Aston Villa. I mean, I just woke up, lads. I don't even had a coffee. I don't, I don't know how you're doing this. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, Villa have been really good, lads. I, I really do. I think they're going to fight for top four. You know, Gabby's crowing at the moment. And every time I speak to him, and Villa this, Villa that, 
doing my nutting, boys. To be honest, I've got to do the show with him tomorrow. <laughs> and all he talks about is Villa. He, 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 don't, don't, he, he's an Arsenal fan, by the way. Right? He, he, he's he not. likes that. The, he, he's no, an he Arsenal likes fan. Arsenal. I think no, he's a Villa he's fan. An he likes Arsenal. Because nah, of lads, uh, I'm telling you, he's an Arsenal fan. Every time I sit in there and Arsenal plan and Villa are plan, he only watches Arsenal play. He celebrates <laughs> when they score. So don't let him, don't let him fool you, boys. Just yeah, by the way, for him. let me tell you, his guard came down yesterday. We're doing the old debrief podcast. Oh, don't, say, don't, don't give too much I, away. I won't give it away, but his guard came down. He then said, "I can't believe I just said that." <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't wait for this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the car, uh, cartoon with the bath. Oh, that's what I'm you don't for. give oh, away. Don't oh, give sorry, away. Sorry. Um, right, so Jamie, what about uh, Europe? Um, as I said, Arsenal top Champions League. But from what I've seen, very briefly, I've seen a lot of Serie A. I don't rate the Italians at the moment. Any of them, none of them. I just think that it's Real Madrid, it's got to be Bayern, and City. it's got to be City. That's it. One of them three wins it. Yeah, I, I I agree, mate. I'm not, you know, I think you look at look. Can Arsenal win the Champions League? I tell you what, why not? I mean, they're a good side. We all know they'll maybe crumble at the at the you know at the end of it in the latter stages. You know, that's what they do. But you know, I, I think they're a really good team to watch. Last night, with the performance they put in against Lons was just uh, they're just wiping teams away, really. But yeah, I agree with you, Al. Bayern Munich, Real Madrid. Um, and Manchester City they're the three teams Harry Kane's on fire Jude Bellingham is unbelievable right now again last in the Champions League he was so good you know he, he scored one made one I think he's got like 16 goals in 10 games or something stupid and Manchester City and Manchester City so yeah look I, Arsenal I don't think are far off it I just think they need a striker Ray yeah, like, yeah. Jesus is br- like, Jesus is brilliant like, and he's, he's a fantastic player he lets you down with injuries and stuff, you know. But even, I mean, Havertz has picked up a few decent games. But if they had, like, I don't know, Ivan Tony or someone, well, they'd be a lot closer to winning the league. If you're Ivan Tony's agent now, you'd be like, whoa, oh, we, yeah. we're in a pretty, pretty good dis- situation here because we, May United might be on for him, Spurs might be in for him. Oh, there's so many clubs who are after Ivan Tony at the moment. He yeah. hasn't played, mm. what, for three or four months, has he? Well, he ain't played, has he, this season? More than that, I think. Jamie, listen, look forward to it. Uh, the phone in's going great after the game. Cheers, Get your Jamie. Calls in. Jamie and Gabby as well. Cheers, lads. Uh, after all the big Premier games. And have your say. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.